Hello everyone, it's Dwayne and welcome back to the channel and today we're doing the Mike Shinoda song already over so really cool song awesome rocky riff that's happening in there and this is a really good song and when I heard it this has actually been on the list for a while and I was like it's not a super complicated sounding tone it's just kind of like I think it's very much in the playing and just a slight little like rocky grit so I'm envisioning this is going to be a quick preset to create but a fun one nonetheless so first thing i'm going to do is put a noise gate on there because we're gonna have a little bit of gain now for this i'm thinking we could actually probably use a marshall because it does have a tiny little bit of gain to it but it's not like distorted distorted so i'm gonna use a 412 maybe we'll use this gb75 this is probably one of my favorite cabinets now, I don't actually know how to play the song either, so I've got the tab, and it's like... So yeah, okay, we've got our bass tone here, and it doesn't sound like the song. So I think what we actually want is, we want some more mids in there. Uh, maybe a little bit more bass, and Probably a bit more treble as well. Maybe we can put the presence knob up to six. On. We have something that's actually pretty cool here. It actually might need a little bit more gain, so... I'm not going to use the amp to do that. I'm going to put in a tube screamer. I'm going to set the volume to seven. We can actually shape the tone a little bit at six. I might try the overdrive up. It is such a cool song. I think actually we got, we've got something that sounds decent. We have something that sounds decent here. Like I'm not even playing the song properly. I need to work out what's going on here, but I'm actually going to take the gain down even more. I think we might have too much gain on the amp and I think we might turn the master up and add a little bit more tube screamer to it. <laughs> So I think reduced gain is definitely what we want. Turn the amp up a little bit. Maybe we do want a little bit more gain, perhaps? I don't know. Actually, that works. A little bit more on there. And then maybe if we set the overdrive to neutral, well, I say neutral, but we're adding overdrive. I think we need two things on here because it's definitely not as overdriven. But then I think in the chorus it may go up. But we'll get to that when we come to it. So... One thing I'd actually like to do, I obviously butchered the playing on that as well because the tab I was looking at was confusing. I reckon we could probably do like both parts on there, like. We could actually probably see if the tones match that way. So, um, do it. I 
I really like this tone. There's something about like a Telecaster or a Strat with single coils played into a, like a high gain amp. At first, I actually thought he was playing possibly with the neck pickup, but I don't think he is. Sounds good with the neck pickup still, but you definitely want the uh, you want the extra little grit in there. I think maybe we could actually possibly even dial up the grit just a little bit on there. Now, I don't know if that's the tube screamer just being set a little bit higher, but... We've got something really cool, I think. Once again, uh, you're listening to a recorded tone, but I think the, the, uh, the JCM 800 that we've chosen gets us there. You know, it's a really cool, it also is dependent on your guitar as well. This has got single coils in it. So depending on the guitar you play it on, this could sound different. So single coils if you have them and then. And it's got a cool little, it's a cool gain tone as well. So you can play rock with it. That's... Or you can play ACDC with it, I think, as well. Maybe too much gain for ACDC, but... It just sounds good. Cool little preset. Uh, just as expected, you know, a nice, easy, quick one. But, you know, you could get this sound with a Vox AC-15, a Vox AC-30. You could get this with a Fender Deluxe. Pretty much any amp that can do, like, a little bit of grit when you crank it up could do this tone. And my hunch actually initially was to use, like, an orange amp or something. But there's only captures on there for the orange amps. But you kind of can get the same with the Marshall in, in many ways as well. That kind of, you know cranked sort of distorted thing and then just put in a distortion pedal over the top as well but yeah as you can see we got i don't even need that looper on there i just kept it 
uh, overdrive, amp, and uh, 412, and we didn't touch that at all. All we did was kind of dial on the amp and push the grid up on the uh, overdrive because the thing with single coils as well is that you can actually push the overdrive up on there and it kind of has this beautiful sound to it. <laughs> Yeah, you could use this for anything. Maybe not Metallica, but yeah. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how you think I did and what it sounded like to you, because obviously I'm doing this in isolation and I think in my headphones, oh yeah, this sounds great. And then you watch it and you might be like, this, what does this guy create? It doesn't sound good at all. Obviously, there's also the element of, I don't know a lot of these songs that I'm playing. So I think that skewers the experience for me, at least anyway. And the thing to remember is these are tone videos, not playthrough videos. So you know, excuse the terrible playing and kind of listen and learn experience. But, you know, we're all having fun here. And they, at the end of the day, these are just presets that I'll link in the description uh, after I upload them to the cloud and get them out and people can kind of make their own opinions and adjustments and play around with them. So let me know if you do any adjustments. If you have any requests as well, let me know in the comments because I do take requests for song tones. Can't promise I'm going to get like a perfect result, but... You know, I kind of go through the process and show you how I do it, as you can see if you watch some of my other videos. And we're going to end the video there. So if you made it to the end, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.